several people on Instagram tagged me in these new products from Laneige that um, came out recently and I was passing by Aritam because I live near one and so I decided to pick them up because I thought they were really interesting. They are the two-tone... You know, you and beauty gurus are like, if you can't already tell by the title, the two-tone lip, oh, I'm sorry, the two-tone tint lip bars from Laneige. The pa you oh. sexual. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, the back, it's the box. Anyway, completely unrelated. But basically, these are like lipsticks. More like, they look like lip balms to me, to be honest. Where it's like, one side is like a lip balm, the other side is like a lip color. So that when you apply it to the lips, you get an automatic lip gradient. So it's like an easy to create a lip gradient. I believe it might have been Laneige that came out with something like this before where it's the exact same concept except instead of like there's a clear lip balm on one side it's two colors so that you can still get a lip gradient but it's like two colors i unfortunately wasn't able to pick every single one up there are two that were sold out however if i'm able to grab them before this video comes up i'll insert a clip somewhere here but there are eight colors and i got six of them for now and i'm gonna swatch them and give you my little my thoughts on them girl these are 23,000 won each that's like 20 dollars basically here's the packaging Kind of looks like Japanese cosmetics to me for some reason. Ooh, you see that? Right there. Oh, you press this down. Oh! Oh, well, that's convenient. Oh my god, you know what? I think with this kind of de delivery system, it'll make it easier than, you know, most lipsticks, you know, lip products come in like a twist thing. And I feel like sometimes that can cause it to like break. You know, we all know the chapstick that when it's like, in your pocket where it gets hot or it's in a hot car. For some reason, if you happen to twist it all the way out and you try to twist it back in, it doesn't go back in, you have to push it. I feel like with this, it'll prevent that. Hopefully, it's cold right now, so I can't give you a test of that. So let's just get like into the lip swatching. You have to excuse my lips, they're really dry right now. Um, and also my lip application because I'm trying to swatch all of these. Let's like, let's not pay too much attention to that. This is number one, cotton candy. Okay, hold on. So I guess the lip color should be towards the center. Oh hell no. What the f <laughs> My lips are so damn dry. Hold on, let me let me exfoliate my lips and I'll be right back. Jesus, I am sorry. I'll have you I'll let you know now that the bomb in there though is very moisturizing. Kind of similar to my Aritam honey ginger 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 sugar lip mask. It's like it's not it doesn't just feel like chapstick where it's like sitting on top. It feels like from just that short swatch that I had, it feels like a really moisturizing kind of balm where you can feel like penetrating your lips. Let's try that again. Mm. I huh? I don't know if this one is just a really natural looking color. When I swatch it on my hand, this is what it looks like. Uh, there she is. It's not making my lips look very pretty though. I'm sure if I let it sit, it might settle and like my cracked looking lips will look a little bit better. But I can definitely tell this would probably work better. From just this one, it'll probably work better on people with much smoother lips. It might just be this color though. And if you aren't already aware, my lips are quite pigments already, so... This might be a cute alternative to lip balm though. Alright, number two is Tangerine Slice. It looks like this. Uh... So I really apologize for my dry ass lips. I probably should have put done a lip mask first and then done this, but... I feel like with, well this isn't lipstick this is like a tint thing but it should be able to handle dry lips too so it's really moisturizing and it's not meant to be like a lipstick lipstick from the pictures it just seems like it adds a glow which is pretty i suppose and if that's the look that you're going for the more you add it on the more like the color kind of seems to be paired it's definitely more of like a glow to the lip it doesn't seem like it adds like a huge amount of pigment this is a really pretty color though especially if your lips are smooth unlike mine Oh, we look at that. I managed to pick up number three. Number three is sold out like everywhere. I had to wait until my Aritam near my house, which not many people go to, was in stock. Number three is really cute. It's called Tinti Minte. And this was an interesting because it, well, honestly, it looks like all the other colors. But on the other side, it has like a mint color. I don't know how that's going to affect um, how it's going to look on the lips, but we'll see. You would think for this clip that I insert in the middle of the other one, I would have exfoliated my lips, but no. Wow, like, it literally looks just like every other- well, that's so cute, I, I love it. I'm just gonna be swatching all the other colors 
after this little clip you're here, but they honestly all let me give you like my since I since I'm putting this in here anyway, I'm gonna give you my little review because I've been wearing them for a few days now and I pretty much formulated my opinion on them. One, all the colors seem to look very similar to each other on the lips. These really I think they're just glorified lip balms. They just have color to them. They don't last very long on the lips. I feel like the color just kind of disappears after a while. Like your lips stay uh, moist, I guess, but they're the color you're gonna have to reapply if you want to see the color again. This side is a pretty pigmented color, it just doesn't last long. You could actually go on this side and kind of fill in your entire lips. Because the pigment is pretty good actually. But of course the point of them I guess is to have it. I guess in that way you can customize it a little bit if you just need a lip balm. This side you can you know put on your lips and if you want some color you can use this side and if you want a gradient you can use both sides like this way. So in that way I think it's a cool concept but I, I'm not really that impressed by them. They're cute though. They're cute. I have to say that. It's just that I don't want to have to keep putting it on all the time. Because it literally within not even an hour and the color's pretty much not even there anymore. The only thing that remains is the moisture. This is number four, Fruits Candy Bar. This one looks like it's going to be really cute. It's a kind of like fuchsia pink. Oh, that's pretty. This is something I would wear. This one's really pretty. Ever wear like lip gradients? This is kind of the color that I tend to go to. It's like a kind of natural look, but it's kind of like it brightens up the complexion. Oh, I like this one. All right, what I'm just noticing now is actually, I thought what I assumed was other than the color on the other side, it would be like a clear bomb. Judging from like the packaging, well, and other and actually using the lipstick. You can see here, the last one I used right here has a clear bomb on the other side, but this one, the bomb side, it actually has a bit of color to it. This is number five in Apple Jello. Other than like this, this side, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a burnt orange. On the other side, it's like an orange shade. This is a really pretty color. If you can imagine, what I'm imagining is like those middle school Korean girls that have like the hot red lip tint. But it looks, it's a little bit, this is a little bit more classy. I like the way that the two colors were, okay, here's the thing. I keep saying the bomb side, but both are the same consistency. They're both, they both feel very bomb-like. But just to differentiate, differentiate the two sides, I'll call the lighter side the bomb side. Um, this one, even though there's a bit of color to it, it doesn't register as much of a color. I guess it just helps it um, blend the darker color on top. I was wondering why it was shaped in that triangle shape here, but it makes sense to me now because how do you explain it? It's kind of like that triangle side, how it kind of does this to the lighter side. And when you're swiping across, it helps blend the center of the two colors. All right, so I guess I don't have a number six either. Uh, just kidding. I got number six. Tomato Shabbat. Tomato Sherbert. It looks just like all the other ones, honestly. It's like a tomato red, but the other side has like a pink bomb to it. And it's they all look the same to me. This one's pretty cute, I guess. Now the swatch video that I filmed, I filmed several days ago. And I'm having trouble remembering what differentiates each one, but the fact that I think that they all look very similar to each other, save for a few of them, says a, quite a bit of them. If you're watching this, then you get to see each one one after the other, so you can decide what color you like. This one's okay. Number seven is called Lollipop Red. This is one of the ones where the bomb side is. Actually, no, it's not clear. I thought it was clear. It's kind of like a lavender color, and the main color side is like a, a bright red, almost like a tomato-y red. This is, actually, this one is really nice as well. It's like the last one. Old well, number five, but it's more like the pink side. I like this one a lot. I better fucking like it. It's, it was 23,001. <laughs> All right, and then I've got number eight, Cherry Milk. This is a pretty shade. I mean, it's like a vampy shade in the tube, but I'm pretty sure because it's like a bomb, it's not gonna come off like this. It reminds me a lot of like the Clinique lipstick. What was it called? Dark Cherry or something? It was like similar to this where it's really dark, but when you put on the lips, it's probably, what was it, Black Honey? I don't remember. On the other side, it's, it looks like it's just clear, but the color right here is so dark that it's kind of, you can kind of see it through. Uh, anyway, it's probably come out clear anyway. All right, this one, 
looks nothing like it's gonna come off like in the tube. It's just like honestly, it's like the last number five and number seven. It really just looks like number five and seven, but just deeper. It has more of that fall vibe to it. If you're about that life, then this is what number eight looks like. Actually, now that my lips are a little bit smoother now, I'm gonna try to swatch the first two again. Nope, still looks the same. <laughs> Yep, still looks the same. That was all the colors that I have. Um, impre first impressions, they are just glorified lip balms, I think. They're really, really pretty, I'm not gonna lie. They're really, really pretty. If you have very smooth, plump lips, it's probably not gonna be a problem for you, but other than that, if you want like a really pretty glow to the lips, these are a nice option, I guess. But honest, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I can get the exact same look if, um, I learned this tip from Pony, actually, is if you put lip balm on your lips and then take any lipstick that you have and kind of apply it just to the center, having that lip balm underneath can actually help autom <clears throat> oh my god, excuse me, automatically create that lip gradient when you put the lipstick on top just in the center. It gives it gives me the exact like, same look because it reminds me of, because I used to do that. That's exactly what it looks like to me. But these ones, uh, it makes it convenient because it's already in one little thing here and all you have to do is just like run it across your lips and the fact that it's super super moisturizing like after doing all the swatches my lips are really s they're smoother now um they're still a little bit cracked because it, it's pretty cold today yeah if you want like a really cute glow to the lips then this is you can get it from these if you happen to be interested in these i'll see if i can find a link and put it down in the description bar for you um and with that i will see you with my next video in my next video in my next video bye bye